Hey everybody, this is uh, Jeffrey Jansen. Hope you're all having a great evening. All right, like I promised, I decided I was going to read the letter that I'm sending out to the Marines. I will then post it later and you guys can um, tell me what you think of it, okay? Um, I wrote this. We've been I've been writing them quite a bit lately for uh, the Marine Corps, the Marines, but also some soldiers, um, some people. And the reason why we're doing it is I want people to understand that we're still here. We're not going anywhere. I really believe in the Marine Corps League. Uh, we're part of the Gem City Detachment 790. Um, I am the Commandant currently right now with the Gem City Detachment 790. And like everybody else, we all have a lot of stuff we're going through because of the coronavirus and everything else. So with a lot of our guys being older, you know, military, we, we span generations. So this is what i'm sending out to all the marines and a lot of them are not on here that i'm friends with because a lot of them don't have social media okay but for all y'all know here's what it is i wrote this and i hope you guys like it if not not a big deal but i mean every word of it okay marines i hope this letter finds each of you in good health and good spirits this year has been a very difficult year due to coronavirus, jobs shutting down, restaurants closing, social gatherings closed, churches closed. Every one of us has been affected. Some of us have lost jobs, others have lost loved ones. Some never got to say goodbye, no hugs or affections from loved ones. This last year we have seen news sources and political figures and every party lie and try and control us by convincing us that if we lock our doors and stay away from each other then we would be doing the right thing if we use racism or call out racist lie if we call out racist lie after lie has been told in order to secure a vote during election year so many challenges this year each person that offers those challenges has asked each of us to have faith in them and trust what they say is the only way. I am sorry we all must go through this and endure this manipulation from each political party and every for-profit news affiliation. I want to remind each of you one thing, that no matter what is going on, we need to remember we are Marines. We do what is right, not what is easy. We do what is right when no one is looking. We complete every mission and we adapt and overcome each and every trial life puts upon us. Marines do our best when the odds are not in our favor. Marines are at their best when the deck is stacked and all hope appears lost. To a Marine, there is no such thing as failure or quitting. There is no better feeling than when being surrounded from all sides by the enemy and making easy to shoot in all directions and having a guaranteed hit. That is what is going on in today's world. We are surrounded on all sides and cannot see the enemy. This is the time to be most aware, to check yourselves and your fellow Marines. We must remember that the enemy's main purpose is to have us turn on ourselves and each other, to second guess our judgments. The enemy wants us to run and hide. The enemy wants us to give up and lose hope. The enemy wants us to be cowards and backstabbers. The enemy wants us to gossip and not trust each other. The enemy wants us to turn on each other so that we will destroy ourselves and each other. We may ask, you may ask yourself who the enemy is. Is it the coronavirus? The virus is killing everyone, according to the news and politicians. However, we forget the flu kills 65,000 people per year, and we never went hysterical with the flu. Cancer kills over 1,200 people per day, every day, yet we never isolate ourselves from a known killer. The common cold kills thousands of years, yet each year we still get a cold and we still go about our daily lives. Smallpox, the plague, TB, heart attacks, diabetes, and many other health hazards and sicknesses if, uh, we are plagued with every day are still with us, yet we still live our lives. No, the coronavirus, deadly as it is, is not the enemy. So it must be the politicians, since they are using fear and pain in order to scare up votes. Does not matter what side or what political party. However, politicians have been lying, cheating, and stealing for years. The politicians for generations have, have looked us in the eye and lied to us and never gave it another thought. So no, it's not the politicians. We are already aware of their tricks. The news are the enemy since we no longer can believe the media giants, the ones that think they control everything we do, hear, and watch. 
the media, the media who is biased and for profit and who want to control us by what we watch and listen to. However, the media has been doing the same tricks and tactics for years. And even when they think they are getting away with controlling us, we just turn the channel or turn off the TV. So who is the enemy? So who is the enemy then who is allowing the pain and the hurt to enter us this year? Where does the blame fall and what can we do? The answer is simple. We are our own worst enemy. We hurt each other. We attack each other. It's better to attack than get attacked. It's better to self-preserve than allow anyone the chance or opportunity to hurt us. We have turned the virus and the politicians and the news media and the social media on and have then turned on each other, accusing and blaming and attacking because it's better to attack than be attacked. It's the better to be on offense than have to defend. We have all been guilty of this type of behavior. And we try and justify it. We forget our training. We forget the satisfaction of helping and the feeling of kindness. We forget how great it is, how great it feels to do for others. We have all gone into self-preservation mode, forgetting that we perform best when we fight the enemy together as Marines, family, and friends. Marines have a saying, uncommon valor is a common virtue. We need to remind ourselves that we are strongest together. We must accept each other's differences and understand that each person's unique. Our differences are what make us strong when fighting together. We must not attack or talk bad or look down upon each other. We must lift each other up, look for the good in each other. We must learn to understand and know what it means to take the higher road. We must stop following the crowd and be Marines once again. Marine is not just a name or a title we earned. Marine is a way of life, a reminder of who we are and who is fighting alongside of us. We will and do get upset and pissed off. No matter how bad things are, we can sit down, talk, have a drink, argue it out, then laugh about how stupid the entire situation is. Marine means not being the bully or the dominant or the superior person, but knowing, no, but knowing no matter how bad things get, we are equal to each other. Marine means going into battle together and completing the mission together and coming back together. Even if one is dead and we have to drag them out and risk our own life doing it, no matter what, we all come back, back home together. I've watched Marines forget these simple traits. Forgive your fellow Marines. Be the solution. Look at yourself. See yourself as a Marine. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Marines remain strong. As Marines, we are vulnerable to the fear and fog of war. The war is inside each of us, and that is the enemy. The only solution is to accept the fact we are all sinners. We are all broken. We hurt in our own way. We must accept the fact we need each other, and in some cases, we are all each other has. Life has enough viruses, politicians, and corrupt media. Life has very few Marines, friends, and true family that no matter what can always forgive and help. We as Marines need to accept the concept of communication and kindness and start lifting each other back up again and adapt and overcome the obstacles that keep us apart, that keep us in fear. Oops, sorry about that. That and overcome and kindness, starting, lift each other back up again and adapt and overcome the obstacles that keep us apart and keep us in fear. For so many have allowed depression and anxiety to take over and control them. Marines, I ask each of you knowing of all the hurt, heartache, pain and loss you have each endured to call each Marine. Take time and write a letter. Pick up the phone, talk to each other, call family and friends, forgive each other. End the lifetime of hurt and bickering. Accept each other for who you are. Do not ask what others can do for you, but what you can do for others. Do it without anyone knowing. Be silent but deadly. Be Marines. Show why our bonds are stronger than any virus, politician, and media outlet. Marines, you each matter who you are. Be the example. Be the beacon of hope. During these times, Marines have the fog and fear of war. Each of us must be the lighthouse that lights the path back to reality. Do not ignore the pain of others, but embrace it and help them complete their mission so they can one day come home from whatever war they are fighting. Marines cannot come home until we all come home. 
Our internal wars may be different, but they're still wars. Together we can win those wars, but only if we do it together. Marines, our mission is clear. Be there for our fellow Marines. Allow them to be there for you. Together we can defeat the unseen enemy. Know this. You matter. You make a difference. You are important. You have saved lives of people you do not know and have never met. People need you. Your family needs you. Your friends need you. Your community needs you. Your local league needs you. Just because you cannot see, feel, or hear how great you are does not make you any less important. I know this letter is long, but I want you to be reassured that you are important to life in the Marine League. Learn to forgive yourself. You must be forgive yourself for allowing hurt and being hurt. You must forgive yourself before you can forgive your friends and enemies. You must forgive those who trespassed against you and forgive yourself for trespassing against others. Last, to all Vietnam veterans, welcome home. We love you and we are grateful for you. To all Korean veterans, your war is no longer forgotten and we will always remember. To each of the Gulf War veterans, each of you, just being there was a weapon of the mind to show the men and women of those countries what freedoms really are. To those of Afghanistan and the Iraq wars, you just being there saved lives and reminded cultures thousands of years old that life is always changing for the better and that hope is still alive. We have never been to these places to take over. We went there, we went to these places to give freedom, hope, encouragement, to give the idea of freedom. We are not there to kill, but to educate and remind different cultures that hope and freedom still exist and are possible. As much as we love America and the freedoms we have, our own way of life and our freedom is in some countries is still a dream and the idea of that must never be put out. To those left from World War II, thank you for our freedom and our right to exist and our right to have freedom. World War I has now come to a close and lives in the history books, but everyone that has ever fought and died for freedom shall always be remembered. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I am the Commandant of the Marine Corps League, Gem City Detachment 790 out of Quincy, Illinois. I am a proud father and a proud Marine. If at any time you need a friend or a prayer, if at any time you need something to do, a group to be a part of, if you need a job or advice or a suit, if you need a home or help, if you need a lawyer or a law firm, if you need a Marine or a friend, then please do not hesitate to call me, write me, or email me. We are all in this together, and I am here to remind you of how great you really are. Commandant Marine Corps League, Gem City Detachment 790, Jeffrey W. Jansen.